Good evening and welcome to our post-game women's volleyball press conference. We will start the press conference with an opening statement from head coach Tyler Hildebrand. Then we'll open it up to questions for coach, along with players Katie Kennedy, Zaina Meyer, and Savannah Chacon. Thanks, Lindy. Um, <clears throat> my voice is a little gone tonight. Um, well, first of all, it was a great, great match by Hawaii. Um, you know, anytime you're in a conference and a team has, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't want to say dominated, but been at the top for a long time, you know, your, your job in that conference is to look to them and and um, respect what they've done and try to try to try to everything you do is to try to get to that level. And so um, we talked about that before the match that that they're that they're the team to beat or have been the team to be in our conference for a long time, and that team's gotten a lot of good wins this year. So, um, but what was it, 10 tonight? 30, we had 31-37 tonight, um, which is just another great example of how much uh, this community is starting to appreciate what, what these young women are building. And, um, you know, they were with us tonight, and so we're very, uh, very grateful for them to be there. And... Um, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of words because it's been a long week of us trying to get better and trying to um, play a brand of volleyball that is tough to beat. And uh, the, the, the we're really proud of the team because they were able to stay together like they've proven. And, and we say it all the time, but as coaches, all, all we ask for is that they stay together and they try to keep getting better and they learn from wins and losses. and. That's why we. That's why we do what we do as coaches, and uh, we're impressed with these young women all the time because of that. Uh, for <laughs> coach and for Katie Kennedy, uh, putting Katie in uh, in the middle of the match, and then Katie, how does it feel to be back on the floor contributing and and contributing to this big win? Um. <clears throat> uh. I mean, every win feels good. Uh, every win's a team win, and it's really exciting to be part of it. Whatever role I'm taking, whether I was on the bench for the rest of the game or on the court, it's the same level of excitement and love for my team. Um, you know, it's it's always challenging to like go through ups and downs of injuries, and I've never really felt that. But as a fifth year, it's kind of starting to to get to me. But um, yeah, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this group, no matter what role I'm playing. Boom, coach. Um, the team hit 326 in the third set. Um, huge difference in offense be from the first and second. What changed? What did you guys talk about in the locker room that maybe fired up the team to get them going? Well, Bjorn fired him up in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I mean, we have, we have a really good offense, but it takes a lot. And, um, and we're, we're learning how to do it more and more. And we, we always know there's going to be a set or two where we hit a really good number. And, uh, you know, on, on Thursday night against San Diego's one of the better floor defensive teams in our conference. They've been hard to kill the ball against. And we hit over 300 every, every set. And so, you know, for us, every season is a journey. And uh, uh, we're learning more and more about how to get better and better at offense. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, Zena, Zena does such a good job of – Making decisions and keeping us going, and and uh, it's not that's the hardest thing to do as a setter is to be able to feel who to set and where to go, and it's one of the hardest things as a coach when you have a setter that doesn't know how to do that very well because you don't know what to say or not to say. So I'm just happy I don't have to tell her any of that stuff. So and for Zaina going up against Hawaii's Kate Lang, which has been the setter of the week every week this year. Mm -hmm. um, what did you feel like you proved this week uh, for Long Beach and, and f against this team? <laughs> That's a hard question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there was definitely a little bit of like, oh, uh, like in this game because I I knew those stats and I wanted to like just prove myself tonight. But it, I have a lot of respect for her and for Hawaii, and I'm really grateful to be like playing against them and for to be playing against Kate because she's a great setter too. But it definitely felt pretty good to come out on top. Today. <laughs> nice. That was good Great answer, answer. Savannah. <laughs> and for Savannah, uh, had a lot of times where Amber Igedi, one of the most powerful hitters maybe in the country, 
uh, was going right down the line right at you and it seemed like even if you didn't get a dig you felt like you were right there you were, you were ready for it all night um how how did it feel going up against a, a powerful hitter like that but also the entire back line was able to keep the ball up seemed like almost every rally uh, I think we just fire each other up. Like, Zayna looks me in the eye and she's like, I'm going to scoop them. And then that makes me just like, okay, f like, me too. So <laughs> we all just kind of fire each other up. And um, just, I think our coaches prepare us really well throughout the week. And um, just, it helps me, like, feel steady and consistent in those moments to be able to make those plays. I want to say something about Savannah. Savannah has uh, played really well for us all year, but tonight she was at another level. Oh, for all four of you, um, this was a huge win, not just because it's a, over a conference rival, but your first sweep over Hawaii since 1997. I don't think the players were even born yet. <laughs> How exciting is it for you guys to hear something like that when it's, you know, you guys are making history and starting, starting things anew? I have something. Um, before, I can't remember if it was today or some point earlier this Appreciate week. This or? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I went to Nicole and Tia because I've been with them since my freshman year here and I was just acknowledging like hey guys we haven't beat Hawaii in our whole time here like let's do it and I think this, we could feel it um, so tonight after we won I just went up to them again like we did it this is it and uh, Tyler's dad said to me one time's not enough let's get another so I agree um, but yeah it feels feels really good and that stat is pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I would just say it feels really rewarding to know that what we're building here and what we're working towards is very effective. And especially after that, after that loss to Santa Barbara, it was about how we responded. And then we had a couple of days, tough days at practice, but then it's about how our team responded and just how much love we have for one another, which was pretty cool to see. And then just being able to put that together at the end of the week, which was really cool. And then I just want to say, um, <clears throat> I think we, we learn a lot from our losses because everybody on this team like we want to win and we want to just show everybody what we can do but I think we learn a lot from our like wins too um, and we're all, we also know that every team is every game of conference is going to be extremely hard so it just kind of fires us up and gives us confidence to keep moving forward um, and for all of you again uh, one of the words one of the single words that's used in this program is the word joy and it just seemed like there was a lot of joy out there today of course it helps that you sweeped, but also it just seemed like even through adversity, adversity it just seemed like whether it was uh, I saw Tyler jumping up and down, playing seemed like he was playing with you guys on the sidelines at times, or whether you guys were celebrating uh, after a point. It just seemed like there was a lot of joy out there today. We say boom more than joy. But yeah. <laughs> I think this entire like atmosphere, like if you look around and you just take a deep breath, like it's just so much bigger than volleyball even with like the relationships we have with each other and our coaches this year, mm -hmm. it's just so much bigger than ourselves, which brings that out of us. And it's hard not to capitalize on like the position that we're in. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. And it's just knowing that when times are tough, like no one turns their back on one another. Cause I think it's easy to look at other teams. Like when things are going hard, they like yell at each other. Or, like it's just a lot of frustration, but it's really special because our team, when times are tough, we like go together and we just show a lot of love for one another, which is something I've never experienced before, and it makes it a lot easier to play with joy. So, Yeah, it's it's joyful to play with these teammates, with these coaches, and for these fans, and in the pyramid. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better for a volleyball experience at the school. I mean, the fans and the environment, the whole community, even outside of the pyramid, um, it's, it's hard not to have joy when you've got sport like that, so it's pretty cool. This game's supposed to be fun. True. Moving forward, uh, seems like the hardest part of the first part of the schedule is, is over, but what's the focus moving forward throughout the rest of this conference schedule? Is that a trap door question? No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Here's my answer to that or me? No, I think we, we respect every team, and so we know that, yeah, our first couple of matches or like the whole season um, up until this point was going to be a challenge, but... I mean, next week's games are just as much of a challenge as today's sure. match, so. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks.